Now say Coulomb's law in vector form. Suppose there are two charges Q1 and Q2 over here. There is the origin suppose in XY plane here we have taken. Its position vector is R2 and its position vector is R1. Now if you are taking force on 2 due to 1, it is here F21 to, to this side and force on 1 due to 2 is here F12 to, to this side. Now, we can write here, if you want to get F21, so we can take here, this is the vector to this side. So, we can write here, this is suppose R vector here. So, we can take, according to triangle of vector addition, R1 plus R is equal to R2. So, we can write vector R is equal to R2 minus R1. We can also write here this is vector R is equal to R21. R2 minus R1, we write R21. It means its direction is actually from Q1 to Q2. R21 means direction is from Q1 to Q2. So, we can write here F21 vector is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R square into here R21 unit vector. So, see here R21 direction is from Q1 to Q2. Similarly, we can write F12 here. F12 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R square and here we can write R12 unit vector. R12 unit vector means here direction is from Q2 to Q1, from this to this side. So, now see here there is R12 and there is here R21, but we know it here R21 is equal to minus R12, direct, magnitude is equal but directions are opposite to each other. Therefore, we can write here F21 is equal to minus F12. So, these two forces are equal and opposite to each other. It means Newton's third law is, uh, law is valid here. So, this is the vector form of Coulomb's law of Coulomb's law. So, now see forces between multiple charges. If you have got more than two charges, then we have to calculate total force on any one of the charge. Suppose you have taken here, this is Q1 here is Q2 and here is Q3. There are the three charges. Suppose this is the here origin O here. Its position vector from here is R3. Its position vector from here is R1. And its position vector from here is R2. Now, suppose if you want to calculate force on Q1 due to Q2. So, the force that direction will be here that is F12. We can write here F12 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 divided by R12 square R12 unit vector. R12 means direction is Q2 to Q2 from Q2 to Q1. Similarly, we can take force on 1 due to 3 and it will be this side here that is F13. So, we can write here F13 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q3 divided by R13 square R13 unit vector. Direction is from Q3 to Q1. So, the total force on Q1 is given by F is equal to F12 plus F13. So, total force on any one of the charge is equal to the vector sum of the forces acting on the charge due to the presence of the other charges taken individually. And see here, when the forces we are calculating, the forces are not affected by the, by the presence of the another charges. So, this is also known as principle of superposition.